Hello, my name is Nirvatana. I am a Cambodian photographer. 2008 was the first time I saw the bomb pond. That image haunted me every day. Cambodia has been bombarded in 1970 when the King Sihanou was toppled down by the Lunol regime backed by the Americans. After that, Americans had dropped so many bombs, almost three million tons. One million people died. In Cambodia, people don't really talk much about this anymore. If we unfold the history, it's going to be a vast landscape of painfulness. So this history has been mooted. Bomb ponds, I have nine photos. I just take my camera, just go to the countryside to take photographs of the bomb ponds and meeting people, ask them to talk, to share what they experienced during that time. This is very, very, very important for us to go forward, for us to see uh, who we are. But this kind of history is going to take a very long time to cure the traumatization. We need to cure it by talking, by sharing. My name is Aichu Christine. I came from Indonesia. I very enjoy to work with three-dimensional object installation. I made a very big object that's a wood and metal, combine it with a gluten structure. I want to produce a great uh, sound, great screaming. We know about the crucifixion when Jesus screamed. I feel there was very great uh, intimate uh, connection between Jesus and the Maker. At that time, in that condition, Jesus can only remember about the Maker. I want to follow that uh, sound with a lighter sound from that uh, joint balls. It is the happiness that follow at that time. I want to make a connection that uh, mix together between sadness and happiness. My name is Kyung Aham. I'm working at the Diverse Media. Needling Whisper Needle Country is an old embroidery work made by North Korean handy embroidery techniques. When I was young, it was very common to find the propaganda flyers blown by the wind from the North Korea. I was surprised that I found this in 2008 under the gate of my house. And I immediately thought, what if I send this kind of message in a, my own artistic form back to North Korea? When I started this, it was a form of espionage. I could find the third intermediary who can go back and forth to North Korea and give these images and the messages to North Korea. And then while they embroider, they could face the articles and the messages I sent and they know about what's going on there. This is an attempt at forbidden communication, a reachable place across the ideological and the physical distance between North and the South Korea. My name is Jungkook Kim. Actually, I'm a sculptor. I'm a very traditional way of the sculpturing, full steel, mobile landscape. It's using the steel powder. But it looks like um, this is no sculpturing certain things. Calligraphy by steel powder, kind of the oriental Chinese thing. Before the calligraphy, we were just grinding the Chinese mook. I had grind the steel. Today, I'm showing to mobile this one the cotton. My writing things is like very selfish of the confessed understanding myself. People can read or not. It is also another Christian thing. Many people in the audience, they understanding to the my mobile landscape is feeling very calm. That meaningful is very common sense of the human inside of the landscape.
My name is Bui Kong Khan, a Vietnamese artist. I'm working with uh, different materials like photograph, ceramic, charcoal, acrylic, and oil painting also. The title of my work is The Bass Move. Vietnam is developed some kind of very quick and low with some problem. The land is more expensive. They have to move every poor area and uh, we we'll build a new building. I invite the people who live on this area to come and enjoy with this background and take a photo. Also, I asked about the feeling before they leave this area, before it's the past. I developed my idea to keep that moment before it's gone, the history of Saigon. Long time it belonged to Saigon, the city where I live. When they move, it's touching me, and that's why it gave me a really strong idea to develop my work.